<laughs> All right, so we got a, a a house here. Actually, this house is uh, it houses three units here. There's two units on top, and then one large unit on the bottom. And then, <clears throat> come on, let's go to the back. <clears throat> so, um, we are cleaning up the wires here on this house. No painting to the outside, but let me let me show you something that we will be dealing with. In that window right there, that window is actually a shower. And if, if you can get on the camera, that's actually a water pipe going through there that's possibly leaking that we have to fix. Oh, wow. Okay, so <clears throat> this was a three to four car garage. I don't know what it was, a three or four, I don't know, but it was a garage for this house here, right? Over the years through different owners, they have turned this garage into this this one here is a, is a one car two car garage and then they turn this half into a two bedroom apartment oh also too in this front here we removed this tree there was a nice little small tree here we removed it and then we'll be putting up a fence right here all the way here redoing this concrete and then putting concrete here so it's like a little courtyard here now, what happened here is, come on in. Because this used to be a garage, this floor was sloping up. It had a slope to it. So we actually had to float this floor out and lift this door frame up, okay? So we had to bring this floor up to the height over here. Come on in. Um, so we had to uh, lift that door up um, and then lift that frame up to make that work. Um, then in this area, we're having a little trouble with the electrical in here too because it's so old. The insulation around the electrical is just brittle, it's just falling off. So they have to do a little bit of uh, electrical upgrade. Um, um, so what we did in here was, this was actually one big room here. But we took part of it and we made a, a cubby for the refrigerator. You'll see it when we get on the other side. And then we made this side for a laundry room. So now this room, it made this room smaller. But I don't really know what this room was designed for because there's two bedrooms here. There's one here, small little bedroom, and then there's a bedroom here. All right? With a closet. We got the electricity off. <clears throat> so we redid the floors, the baseboards. Uh, the doors were already in. Um, we only painted the baseboards, we didn't paint the walls. Uh, but come look over here. So we, so we, like I said, we made a laundry room was gonna have a stackable washer and dryer. And then if you look over here, this is getting replaced as well in the new heater. So in here, if you see in the kitchen, the cabinets, surprisingly, the cabinets are staying. The designer wants the cabinets to stay, but the hardware we changed out. Oh, there's different hardware now. Um, so the hardware got changed out. Um, and then the refrigerator, the refrigerator was here, the washer and dryer was here. But now, remember, there's now we're gonna have room for a table here. So all this got transferred to here. If you see here, now the refrigerator is here. Because we actually dug into that room over there, and on the other side of that is the um the little laundry room. The bathroom kind of stayed the same. Very small, small bathroom. You know, nothing really to see. And um, that's basically it here. So. so this unit is the bigger of the three units in this area here. 
I mean, in this, uh, in this house. Now, this one was pretty old here. This one was pretty old here. One, this floor was all jacked up. This floor was like shh, a whole wave here. We actually had to lift this floor up. And then um, we had to redo the shower, rebuild everything from the ground up because the, the structure of the floor was just in such bad condition. It was pretty bad. See, we still got some of the floor open there. We had to move the toilet from here to over there. We moved the vanity from in here to over there. You can even tell how old it is. Look, this is a, a junction box with a light at the bottom, right? And what happened was this was the older house. You can tell this is this was the outside of the house. This is the outside of the house. So they extended over the outside of the house improperly. That's what happened here. So we lifted that up. Um, we're doing a whole new kitchen in here. Um, we covered up. There was a door here. Okay. There was a door there that we're patching up as well. Right? Um, they had these old style locks on these doors here that we have to remove and patch in. The ones that fit all the way in here with the old little key, little funny looking old school key. You can tell a lot of the decor here is old school. Look at this here, look at the mantle there. Right? It's very old, been sitting for a while, but you know, they got it for a good little price, you know? Um, so <clears throat> we're redoing the floors in here, uh, leaving a lot of the trim up, um, not scraping the ceiling, just doing repairs to it, uh, and bas basically putting hardware on this type, type of stuff here. Um, and then dressing it up, really, you know, putting new doors in. So this is actually unit one. That first unit we looked at was unit four. Um, and then this, this is a bedroom here. Um, and then that is all, that's the front porch right there. But that door is closed off and sealed from the other side. But uh, we got a closet here, building in place here. There was also a door here. Remember that door on the other side? I think there was a door uh, patch, but door on the other side that we patched here as well. Like I said, it's three units in here. We already seen the bottom unit. Let's go look at the other top units. So this is like the foyer. This is unit one, the one that we just left out of. That's this unit. Now, there's two. Oh, power there's two more apartments up here. We're not doing a lot of work to them. We're doing a minimum amount of work to them. So this is unit two. Small, small bathroom. We're not doing much in here. Um, basically, it's, it's just about ready to go. We install this, this top here. The floors were already in. Um, we put in a new sink, new countertop. Um, Things like that. We put in this new bar top so they can have an actual place to sit and eat because there's no room in there. So we put this in place. Uh, a lot of this stuff was already here. Uh, in places here. Very little closet. Pretty floor. Another little funky little setup. Another bedroom here. Or you can say this is the living room. Yeah, pretty floors. And then another, and then a bedroom here with a closet. Small, but 
people that want to live in the city for a lot of it. And then this human actually has a uh, this human actually has a Now on this balcony, one of the things we're going to do here, because some water is piling up here, we're actually going to drill a hole and make a chain drain to where the, we're going to put a chain, the water going to follow the chain down, down there. And that's it oh, the stairs. Hmm? The stairs go back down. Oh, I didn't even know there was stairs there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is unit three. Once again, unit three is similar to the other unit there. Okay. Make sure this thing is locked. So in here, we changed out the backsplash, put a kitchen hood, a small border stove. Uh, we also ran power outside for washer and dryer as well. Um, put, we put in this countertop so I have a place to eat, a, a small cabinet, because uh, it's ca very little cabinet space here. Um, and the refrigerator will be right there. And then um, this is that bathroom that I pointed out. And this is behind there is where that window is at, where I say this pipe here is leaking there. Um, so we have to do some work there to figure that out. But small bathroom, we did the backsplash here. We're gonna do a lot in these upper units. They were kind of almost ready to go, sort of. So they're gonna be actually renting these out pretty quick here. Maybe the work was in unit four and 